Hey friends, welcome back to my channel and today I have got another comparison video for you guys. I hope that you really enjoy these videos. It seems like you do, so I thought I would do another one. And if you like videos like these, go ahead and give it a big old thumbs up and subscribe and let's get with the comparison. Now I'm going to compare two different primers today. I love primers. I think they actually are a necessity when it comes to putting on your makeup just because they make your makeup look better. They make your bleh, they make your makeup last longer. They make it either mattify your skin or they can give you hydration or they can just give you luminosity. But the two primers that I have today are the L'Oreal Magic Lumi Light Infusing Primer. I'm going to compare it against the Becca Backlighting Priming Filter. Both of these are light infusing primers, which means it's going to help um, dis diffuse any imperfections you have in your skin, which is really nice. It's going to give you a luminosity to your skin, which everybody wants these days, and I do too. Now, we're going to start off with the L'Oreal Magic Lumi one. Now, this retails between $10 to $14, depending on where you get it. I have used this for a while, so, I mean, I do have a very good grasp about how I feel about this primer. I do think it's a really nice, um, affordable primer. It comes in a point six eight fluid ounce. I mean, you can get this pretty much anywhere, which is really nice and it's very convenient. It comes with a pump, which is also very convenient. Now, when you put it on the skin, it's very liquidy though. See, I don't know what this is running down from the, the white luminosity part or whatever you want to call that. It might be oil. I'm not really sure because I don't know. I mean, it smells like oil. But regardless of that, it is very liquidy. Uh, when you put it on the skin, you can see like right there, it is very glowy, but it is also very white. But when you put it on the skin, it does have that makeup smell, which, you know, it doesn't really bother me. But it goes on the skin really nice. I mean, you can see from me turning my hand, it is very glowy. It's very light infused, which, you know, depending on where you turn, you can just see a very beautiful glow. Um, but it does look like a product. It does not look like your skin. It looks like you have some type of product on. I prefer something that looks very natural, that makes my skin look better, and it doesn't look like I've got a product on. But with this one, it does, but it does leave your skin feeling nice and smooth. I do say, I can say that about this. And it does look very glowy. It doesn't look drying whatsoever. I mean, it is a very good primer. Um, it doesn't say that it has any kind of hydration to it. But with the oil or whatever it's in here that has that feel to it, it does leave your skin feeling, you know, pretty soft, which I have to say is nice. Um, there's really nothing bad about this primer, but it, I don't like the fact that it's liquidy. I don't like the fact that it comes off so white. I mean, you have to make sure that you rubbed everything in, which I'm not a big fan of. I don't know. It's just It just seems like it's too pigmented um, for that stark white of a color for a primer. I'm not a fan of. I mean, you can still see. I mean, I do have very fair skin, but I can also see that white color coming through my skin, which I don't want that on my face because if you take a picture, you're going to have that really weird, funky white cast. But I mean, it really is a good primer. It is very, you know, it is affordable. It's not too pricey, so. I mean, it, it's a good, it's a good light infuse, it's a very good light infusing primer. This Becca Backlighting Priming Filter. Let me just tell you, I love this stuff. It's one fluid ounce. It comes in a pump, which is really nice. Now, this sucker right here, it is a mo moussey texture, which is really nice. It's not runny. It has not moved from where I put it, which is very nice. Now when you put it on the skin, it's a nude color, which I really do like that. That means I'm I'm not going to have that funky um, white cast. But when you put it on the skin, it just looks so natural and it looks so glowy and it looks so beautiful. 
I mean, this doesn't look like I have a product on. It just looks like I have really, really, really nice skin. And without it being overly dewy, without it looking like a big grease ball, which is really nice. It sinks in nicely. It's got a very citrusy smell to it, which I don't mind at all. But I have to say, I mean, it just looks so natural, but it looks so good. And this right here, you can kind of tell that, yes, this is a little bit more um, glowy. It looks more of a product than this one does, which if you want a really intense glow to the skin, this one would be your best bet. The L'Oreal would, would be, but for me, I don't want my primer to actually show through my skin. I don't want that. I don't want to look like I've got a lot of product on my face. I don't want to look like I have a lot of makeup on my face. I just want, this is a lot of saying, wouldn't it? I just want my skin to look its absolute best with it not looking over makeup -y, which is my um, preference when it comes to makeup. And this right here does it. It just makes my skin look really, really nice. It makes it look very, just, I, it just look, makes it look like everything to me. I mean, I just absolutely love that. It just makes my skin, I don't know how many times I have to say this, but it just makes your skin look its absolute best. And I love that. Especially if you put on your foundation that you've been loving. And this right here, it just doubles the luminosity of my skin. It just it makes it look absolutely beautiful. I mean, I got a highlight on it, and you can see it. Look at that highlight today. Ooh, it's shining on it. It's shining on it, ain't it? But this right here, I absolutely love it. I know it's on the pricey side, which I usually don't love. Um, it usually turns me away from a product, but this product is so fantastic that I don't care that it's $38. I love it. I will continue to repurchase this because there is no cons to this. I mean, absolutely none, and I don't even think the cost is a con because actually it is such an awesome product that I would probably pay more for it, but I'm, God, I'm, that doesn't mean I want them to raise their price or anything. But this primer right here is absolutely fantastic. It just gives you the most beautiful skin. I love this primer. I think it's fantastic. Um, the L'Oreal one is a very good primer in its own right. If you want a more intense dewy look or you want a more intense luminosity look, this one right here would probably be your best bet. But for me personally, I just want my skin to look its best and this right here makes it happen without looking like I've got a product on and I love that. I can wear this on its own and my skin looks amazing. I just I love this primer and I highly recommend it. Well, I hope you like the video. I hope you like my little comparison. If you do, give it a big old thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you on my next video. Bye friends!